Okay, in order to get to developer options, you're going to go to settings, and then you're going to go to system, and then about phone, software, then build number. This is what you're looking for, build number, and then you might have to click on it four times or seven times. It says I'm already in there, but it'll say click it one more time or two more times. You just start clicking this and it'll say, okay, you're in developer option. Then you pick out and you have to come back into it. Go to system. About. Okay, developer option is here. So it was actually just system and developer option. And here's all your developing options. Okay, you may have uh, seen on other videos that USB debugging's okay, but this can potentially uh, install viruses and people could steal your information. Luckily, if you're uh, plugged into like a public charging port or something, they can install uh, buggy software into your phone via that USB port. So you don't want to turn that on. You want, I'd want to keep that off if, if, if you're not a developer and you're not installing apps into this phone. That's what it's for. It's for uh, newly developed apps installing onto your phone. It allows the buggy apps that are, you know, maybe, uh, maybe only like 90% complete or maybe a virus or something to, to install it on this device. It'll allow that if you turn that on. So you might want to keep that off. I'm just going to take a quick coffee break here. Okay, then now that we have uh, a little cup of coffee here for an energy boost, let's keep going. Here you have mobile data always active. That's for keeping your mobile data active even when Wi-Fi is active. And that's for faster network switching. So you want to keep that on. This one's nice, the Tether hardware acceleration. If you've got this plugged into your laptop, use the tethering hardware acceleration um, if, if available. Keep that turned on. That'll, that'll, that'll enable all of the, the RAM and the CPU to uh, work faster to you know, accelerate your tethering of your mobile device to your laptop. Okay, disable absolute volume. Basically, this will allow you to off. You can maybe possibly get a, a louder volume out of, your, out of your Bluetooth device. Okay, this one may be nice for you. Enable in-band ringing. This allows ringtones on the phone to be played on Bluetooth headsets. Okay, I have a good one for all the gamers out there. You may want to turn on your graphics processing unit rendering uh, button here forces use of GPU that's going to load up your RAM and your, G your GPU and allow for more graphics processing and free up the, the CPU so you may want to give that a shot okay so enabling the, the force GPU rendering is going to offload the tasks to the GPU on, on some things like you, you may get better frame rates it's also going to consume more battery power. So you, you may use like maybe 15% more. And it's, it's definitely a good thing to have on for slower GPUs. Okay, here we have the animation scale. Animation scale is at 1. The lower the animation scale, the faster the phone will be. Okay, and if you accidentally get your screen column on the on the left there, the index to the or to the right, then you act, then it's because you accidentally bumped the force RTL layout direction. That's better. Okay, so now we have our Windows animation at 0.5 to speed it up a little bit. And that's going to make our phone run a little faster. 